After six years of my work at Google, I felt that was the right time to move on and join one of the Lithuanian startups. I learned about Trafi and it was amazing to see how a small company from Lithuania developed from a public transport app in Vilnius to a global company serving customers in more than 20 cities. Lithuania is definitely a hotspot when it comes to startup scene, but also environment for foreign investment. There is amazing IT infrastructure. People are very talented, hardworking. Many of them speak two or three foreign languages. So I think that's a very exciting time to be here in Lithuania, being surrounded by this amazing, like-minded people doing their own global ideas. I run a game studio and about three years ago we set up a new project and we really were looking for a location where everyone, it doesn't matter if you're coming from the east or from the west, can feel a part of the community, a part of the scene and have the quality of life that lets you focus on creating the games. Vilnius provides the opportunity for you to fully focus on the creative work and everything else is a great backdrop to help you get a great life and be more productive. An increasing amount of foreign startups are relocating or opening their offices here. At the same time, there is a growing tendency of Lithuanian tech talent coming back to our country after gaining international experience. Five years ago, there were only a couple of dozens of startups in Lithuania, and the majority of students were dreaming of their careers in the governmental sector or big businesses. Today, more and more young people are choosing to become entrepreneurs, and we already have more than 300 startups in our ecosystem. A very nice thing about Lithuanian startup community is that here you can make the difference. Even if you've got 10 people, 20 people. To everyone in the government, you're important. You're making a positive change. The big advantage is that the country is small but dynamic and wants to get better. And so as a startup, you get all the attention and all the help and you get the feeling that it's important for you to succeed in the city and everyone is working to help you. So there are a lot of events happening lately and we've been very proud that there was a Startup Olympic event. It's not a serious event, it's actually an event where we compete in a sports like beer pong or basketball or darts. So we actually won second place and we get along very well with a company which won first place, Oberlaw. So we celebrated their victory together that night, and since then we keep in touch. And that's an amazing example how during this informal event, you could actually meet our startups and basically start cooperating with them. And Startup Olympics is just one of many examples of events here in Lithuania. I think the community has matured and is thriving. And from what I can tell, it's just going to keep continue to build. If I look at the talent that I've encountered in Lithuania and how everyone is envisioning the future, I'm thoroughly impressed. When you're small, you need to be innovative, you need to move really fast, you need to be open to new ideas. And that is something that uh, Lithuania is doing. I invite you to join Lithuania's vibrant startup community and get started in Lithuania. The Lithuanian government takes actions and introduces legal changes such as crowdfunding law, startup visa, uh, laws for fintech industry, in order to make Lithuania the most startup-friendly country in the world. 
I would definitely recommend Vilnius as the location for a startup. And then from here you can take, you know, you can scale it then. Then you can just take a team and send it to California. And I'm pretty sure some of them will want to come back at some point. The Lithuanian scene has everything to offer for someone who wants to work on ambitious global projects. I'm excited that I have decided to join the Lithuanian startup world. It's an amazing time to develop your own startup and be in this ecosystem.